calling all units. Driving all cars part number 90. The Kawasaki KX450F. It's more of a motocross bike, which also explains why it has a dirt and rate right spec. But just like the KTM 450, it also has a street spec. So, we'll start with that one, I guess. If I am not mistaken, the Kawasaki. Um, no, not now, I'm doing a video, my friend. Kawasaki is the highest top speed in street spec. And also, uh, it's one of the best accelerating in this one mile drag we always do. I'm going to do that again, hopefully it works, because there were some issues with the free drive challenges lately. After the calling all units, it's one of the bugs that's brought it with it. Let's see what we can do. What we are looking for is a, a low 26 seconds, preferably a 25. We are leaning forward till the first checkpoint, which is the quarter mile. Then we're going to hit the nitro, full bar. Seems to uh, get stuck on the high RPMs in fifth gear, which is a bit of a problem, but I'm already doing 360 kilometers an hour. 26.072, as expected. A pretty damn fast street spec, that is for sure. I think there are. Um, I think the KTM is faster. I believe it goes with a 25.9 or a 25.8, I'm not 100% sure, but I can't recall all the times from all the cars and bikes in this game, of course. Uh, I'm gonna try to retry immediately and do the acceleration test of the three specs, which is street, dirt and race. If we can finish them, that is. The dirt spec is sort of similar times, uh, but, well, mainly 26 seconds. Some of them 27 and I think even the odd 29 for a hot rod or something in dirt spec. Uh, 28 seconds I believe, but... Most of the dirt specs seen here kinda were kinda limited on a certain speed here on this one mile drag. Most of them did uh, 26, 27 seconds, so... And we finished again, surprise, did they fix it? 26.923 Yep I know that a lot of dirt picks did a 26.8, 26.9 and that is because somehow we are kinda limited on speed here on the Bonville with the dirt picks. I don't know why that is but it is the case so um, but 26.9 is it's a pretty high 26 to for a dirt pick I think the KTM did a low 26 in dirt so, no. Street pick definitely acceleration wise. Let's retry one more time. With the rate pick of this thing. And see what we can do. Fastest thing here is the Ferrari 458 with a 21.9, I believe. Oh no, that's in circuit spec. A uh, race pick. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I think also the KTM is pretty fast there. But here it kinda, yeah, you see what's, what's going on. 240 seems to be somehow the speed that you can get here on this uh, thing, and that's always something that you stay around of. But we finished three runs, make it happen. 29.9, hmm. That is pretty fast, because if I remember correctly, the rate specs were all about 30 seconds. So at 29.9, that is one of the fastest in the lot, in a rate spec. Although there are some which go lower. I think the KTM did a 29.6 or something, if I'm not mistaken. I have to recheck that on the uh, file thing there. But yeah, not exactly. 
what we are looking for. Acceleration wise, street spec okay, the rate spec also okay. They are one of the fastest, so that's always good. Dirt spec to a high 26, uh, no, not really. There are faster things in rate. Mm. Let's go back to the street spec and test something which is more important, for instance, for speed traps. Um, the KTM 450 limits at 381 kilometers an hour with slipstream, and that means that is uh, if you can do a speed trap and we have to use a street spec and you can use uh, all cars and bikes. The KTM is the way to go in street spec. Let's see what this thing can do. But I think that's no longer the case. But I will explain that in um, a later video. Because I have driven something yesterday and that could almost do 380 here in a solo run, although it was downhill. So I think it will beat the KTM top speed wise. Also, the Mazda MX5 is coming closer, can even go over it. The only problem is has such slow acceleration that you will never reach the top speed on all of the cameras in the speed trap so the KTM is still the best but we'll see what this thing can do I haven't tested this, uh, I've just been grinding uh, doing great missions and such to get all the cars and bikes in this game uh, I'm just missing a couple of police cars but those are not that important I have a cop car in each spec and uh, those are the same performance as the normal cars so not so sure about this one though 328 it's kind of uphill here and then flat sections but three sixty three sixty one which is kinda okay but there are many street spec cars that can do above three sixty so uh mm, not so sure This thing is definitely not slow because there are also street specs that can't even reach 360 km an hour. But from a bike you expect more. I think the KTM went towards 370 on that uh, same downhill there. And I know that it limits at 380, 381 because there are some speed traps where you can get it. This thing seems to uh, understeer though. I have to go off throttle here and there to uh, actually make the corners. That being said, I just did the video of the GPZ 900 earlier, and um, yeah, that thing was one of the best handling bikes that I've driven so far. So um, yeah, this one understeers, which is also the case with the KTM 450 a bit, but not so much as this one. Better break here for the understeer corner. That's the acceleration that uh, yeah. you can't dive into a corner if there's a car. So why even try it? But yeah, that's what you do occasionally. Yeah, it seems to, uh, around 11,000 RPM, it seems to get stuck in fifth gear, which is a bit of a problem. If you lose 2-3 seconds every time before it actually goes to second, uh, to sixth gear.
Can go over 11,000 RPM though. So it does have the top speed, it just... I uh, was wondering if it could beat the KTM, but I don't think it can. Although it will come pretty close probably. But also acceleration wise, it's a few tenths of a second slower on the one mile drag, so... And also, uh, it seems to understeer a little bit. So, um, Kawasaki 450 versus KTM 450, uh, I would say the KTM is the better one. A bit faster acceleration, a bit faster in top speed as well, and it also handles a bit better, uh, my feeling. Although, I must admit, this is the first time I drive this bike in street spec, so... Um, Let's take out, it is at 12.99, uh, in case I haven't mentioned that, I always test the cars and the bikes at 12.99. Uh, the reason for that is pretty simple, I have done so with all the other cars, seeing that was the maximum level before. Now with the new level being 14.97, but it doesn't matter that much, uh, top speed wise and such. A dirt bike is also something in which top speed doesn't matter that much, it's more about the handling. And that is probably going to be a problem, because they patched the bikes in April for the stunt race and that made the dirt and raid bikes slide all over the place. They repatched them again. With the uh, calling all units released and they made them a little bit better again but not definitely not like they were before the April patch. <coughs> which is kinda normal I guess because they were kinda OP. They were smoking the cars in many specs, well, basically in every spec, and uh, that was a bit of a problem, seeing there were people out there who didn't have the wild run and couldn't drive bikes, that was not really a fair battle, so they had to do something. Meanwhile, even with leaning forward, this thing seems to be pretty stable. Also doesn't seem to have the problem where it uh, kind of gets stuck on fifth gear. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. here I kind of lost it. So they do slide. Top speed wise, um, dirt spec KTM can do 315 towards 320 I think. We'll see what we can get out of this one uh, on the point of this track where I test it. First we have a few small jumps here. I'm starting to... Uh, I have to re-look my numbers here because this thing has a pretty good acceleration so I'm thinking that uh, earlier in the one mile track that for the dirt spec the times were going uh, more towards 27 seconds and that this one with this 26.9 was actually a pretty fast one. Although I feel um, the KTM is faster though. Also acceleration wise in dirt spec. Handling is uh, more than okay I must admit because with the dirt and the rate you slide all over the place normally. And although they repatch it a bit, it doesn't slide about that much, uh, to be honest. So it's looking pretty good. Also pretty stable on landings, and which uh, kind of matters for uh, stunt races. You can even tap the handbrake, it goes into a smooth slide, which is controllable. Probably if you start steering fast from left to right, you might lose it here or there. But even that is kind of controllable with a bit of counter steering. I'm overdoing it a bit here now, but... I have to push a bike or a car at, at times to know what it exactly does, but... 
This thing goes pretty smooth over our little dirt track here, which we always do. And here's that's sort of the point where you lose it. No, do not hit that crate. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> Try to get it as smooth as possible towards the uh, downhill out to the hill there. Already doing 270 plus. Towards 300. 310 or so. The KTM is faster though. 315, 320 on that point. On a longer straight with slipstream you're definitely gonna get there but... I've done the same route and road with the KTM and it could do 315, 320 there. It might depend on nitro use and how much speed you had before going to the downhill but just like with the street spec the numbers suggest that it is a little bit slower than the KTM but my feeling is that this one handles a bit better. So. Um, Surprisingly, so uh, plus it's definitely at top speed. Might be not as fast as the KTM, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Did we mess it up so far? No. Repair cost is at zero. That's all we need. Street dirt and a rate. Let's see what this one can do. I did drive this in one of the stunt races, and uh, although normally the BMW 1200 is the uh, better bike for the stunt race, it's both in dirt and rate, with the latest patch it slides about a bit more, and uh, I don't know, I've done my best score with the KTM yesterday, although I later improved it with the BMW. But the BMW is easier to um, to lose now. I've also done it with the KTM and with this Kawasaki, the, uh, st the current stunt race. Uh, 2.40 keeps going like that. Was that an indication already? That one jump there that uh, slided about on landing. We'll go off throttle, uh, off leaning forward. Why are you doing stunts? Okay. If you test this track, don't lean forward at that point. <laughs> Okay, this is the rate spec, so uh, we are slightly changing the route here now. Going towards the hill there. Two fifty, but it always goes back down. Although I'm leaning forward, it always goes back down to about two forty. Likes to lean forward, that's for sure. Completely lose speed there. Is that normal? 
that's definitely something that is normal is that you go on your real wheel now they have repatched the bikes and all bikes have that if you go on the throttle does do the uh, flips pretty quickly I must say 360 not really an issue let's try and hit the rocks here Off-road it's pretty stable even if you flick it about a bit Unless you overdo it again I guess but I'm not that convinced about uh, The leaning forward for instance But I'm also not that convinced about the speed of this thing We're not expecting 300 kilometers an hour here. That is only uh, possible in slipstream with something like a uh, Mustang or a Ford Focus in race pack. Definitely uh, seems to have the weight in front of the bike. Can we find something to jump on? Let's go for the rock here, shall we? No, that didn't work. That's an annoying feature they brought with these uh, repatch bikes. They often go on their uh, rear wheel now. Also the case with the circuit and performance bikes. You go full throttle, you have this situation and you have actually have to go off the throttle to put the wheel back on the ground. Even hitting the brakes does not help. But we did have a few crash cam activations, more than uh, with anything else. Landings are good for uh, something like the stunt race. The landings are pretty good, but I'm not so fan of is the fact that we activated the crash cam like five or six times already in this run and um, other than that it goes pretty smoothly if you are careful by using the leaning forward key Acceleration and top speed seem to be a plus. Although for this rate spec, I'm not so convinced about the top speed though. In street, definitely it is. But the KTM is faster. And that is sort of the overall conclusion, I think. I think top speed wise, the KTM is a little faster. This is the KX. 450 and you compare it with the car TM450 which is kind of normal it is faster than the BMW though handling wise I think it's somewhere in between 
this is lighter than the BMW, so it handles a bit better. But um, I still think that the Kawasaki, uh, the KTM, handles a little bit better. It's all a little bit better for the KTM, it seems. But you can definitely use this in a stunt race because the landings are pretty stable. So uh, minus well. It's not a drifting as much though. Um, decent bike, but I think the KTM is a little better. And that is in the end where you have to compare it with the same, same engine, 450cc and such. So, yeah. We'll see you guys in the next one. And bye for now.